Hey, what's up, Taurus? We're going to get into your read here. Hope you guys are doing well, enjoying the weekend. So let's get into your reading, see what messages are coming in for you guys, what you might need to know here, and uh, let's get into it. What messages are coming in here for Taurus? We start off this reading here with temperance, Sagittarius energy here. What is crossing you? What could be your challenge here, Taurus? The Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know. I mean, that that's uh, for me, when I looked at that, it feels more like, you know, temperance is a card of patience. It's a card of balance. Knight of Pentacles being your challenge. It's like, yeah, you know, maybe there, there is this energy or feeling that wanting to get things moving forward or maybe, uh, you know, wanting some sort of results on something could be waiting for uh, an answer, an opportunity, right? Um, you know, maybe you put some resumes out and you're waiting for a callback. I mean, it could be simply that, but, uh, but there is this energy of, um, I, I feel like it's not like you're in, you're being patient. It feels like you're, um, that things are going a little bit too slow. All right. So let's see, we'll see what, uh, what else comes out here. We'll get all the cards out first. We do have the page of wants. Your focus here, Taurus is a tower Scorpio energy there. Let me see your possibilities. We do have the four of pentacles. For some of you guys, this might be a work situation. Let me see the near future here. The nine of swords. And the two of swords underneath so far. So, I mean, th this feels... Um, it feels more like a work situation, all right? It feels like maybe there is something here... In regards that you're, like I said earlier, waiting for an opportunity, waiting for communication regarding a new job offer. Uh, it could be that you're thinking of a new job or wanting to move in a different uh, different area here. But with the tower being in your focus, th there's some sort of, um, I don't know if something has happened or this is something that is, um, you know, you know that something's not working out. There, there's a foundation here that you're in that isn't uh, fulfilling for you in any way and you want to break away from that but you know i see here with the nine of swords there is some stress i mean there's worry here so let's see in your power taurus what's going on in your power what's going on now i did do the taurus reading for march as well so if you haven't seen that be sure to check the playlist these are just kind of extra readings that are just going to come out and um, so for those new subscribers I do that quite often. I'll do a monthly and then I'll just come out with other readings. So that that doesn't really have, um, you know, it's not, this one's just not for March. It's just whatever energy I'm picking up at the moment. Your power, Taurus. We do have the Six of Cups, Scorpio energy here. Let me see your environment. What is your environment here, Taurus? We do have the Chariot. I mean, the Six of Cups here to me, and especially when I see a tower, the Nine of Swords with the Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles, like I was saying earlier about things are moving slow. Um, I do feel like there is looking at a lot of different things here. Look, there's a sense of reflection here, Taurus, um, because you're in this energy also in your environment that you you want to be successful in something here. You know that you can bring more into your life. I was going to say like bring more to the table, but it doesn't feel right to say that. It just it's like more about bring more to your life, bring more abundance to you. And it feels like you've been working, um, working at this here, but it, feel, it feels like as if things are just not moving forward as you want. And it's like you also know with the tower being over here in your focus that there is a decision that needs to be made by you here, but it is going to shake up things. All right. So I also see the world underneath here. So it feels like this chariot about moving forward can bring uh, a new beginning here for you, but it's, there's there's this energy of you having to do it, okay? Let me see your hopes and fears here, Taurus. What is your hopes and fears for Taurus? We do have the Queen of Swords. Now, you know, the Queen of Swords is an energy of... Um, being direct sometimes i mean she is blunt you know straightforward and wants the truth you know not a, not a f around type of uh, energy but at the same time she's looking for clarity she's trying to figure out what's the best move here you know so there is this energy here taurus for you and whoever this resonates with that um you know there's something here that you're you're just not satisfied in the in the way and speed something is going or maybe you're not seeing some sort of uh, return, okay, in some way. Um, it doesn't feel like, I know I see the Six of Cups here, and a lot of you guys will probably be in a relationship or thinking of someone, I get that. 
but um you know as a reader here i just feel i feel like more it's tied to just you and and some sort of choice and a decision that you feel like making or have made a choice and is about to make it in a 3d known you know it's like in your mind something here is stressing you out something here is not fulfilling um but but it feels like things are starting to or things might change because you do you're about to do something here let me see the potential outcome here taurus what is the potential outcome it does feel like some sort of something to do with your finances you know things like that here let me see the potential outcome the ace of swords i was just talking about the queen of swords looking for some sort of clarity truth looking or thinking about something here you know so but I also have a seven of swords so there's there's something here in your energy that either you have seen you know maybe there has been some sort of um deception you know lying cheating whatever it is here you've seen something here taurus and i feel like you want to move away from a certain foundation here that's not already giving what you want in the first place so there is some sort of um communication i feel like that is that you're giving to to someone here let me see this ace of swords here for you taurus what is this ace of swords here for taurus we have the king of pentacles so it confirms that you are going to give some sort of truth a message here look at this the death card so i don't know it may not resonate with a lot of you guys but this is what's coming out for taurus i mean this is um different from the last couple of readings i was i was doing for you guys but we we have this energy that is either observing something seeing something something's not growing something's not fulfilling it's bringing stress within your life here with that nine of swords and it feels like you've made a decision here to move in a different direction we did see the world card earlier with the chariot when the chariot came out so there is some sort of uh new beginning that you are moving towards but it's like again you making this choice you communicating this truth you doing it basically right and the death card here symbolizes um you know death and a rebirth so you know there is this new beginning but it's like there's this also this thing that needs to close out that's why this focus here is is the tower and the tower whatever is being going to be said or whatever is being seen it, it's going to bring a tower in some sort of foundation and that could be simply like and again this is an example um you know if it was like a, a relationship you know and you say this is not working out you know it's communicating to this person saying this is not a foundation that i'm looking for and again brings that tower if it's a work situation you you've been in something that uh, you don't see yourself being in the next five ten years um you know maybe this is a place that just feels like a dead end you don't feel like it's they're utilizing your skills right and it feels as though you're you're seeing that or you've seen it to where you're going to make a decision to be in this king of pentacles energy to to know who you are and your value okay now of course it's it's easy to say this and and maybe you if this does resonate with anyone out there um you know it's tough right it's not like you could uh, be dissatisfied with a certain situation say something and then leave and then it's it's you know everything's fine i feel like it does bring that nine of swords energy there's a lot of stress there's a lot of worry uh in whatever this is for you taurus but i do feel like at the end of this it does lead you towards something here that that you've been wanting it does it does take you through um, another process here okay so let's take a look at this tower let's take a look at this tower here this is this tower here for taurus <clears throat> we have the page of swords so it does feel like you've seen something here taurus or you could be seeing something in, in some sort of environment something's just not working out and you 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 kind of there's an energy of wanting to get out of this here let me see if the world card wants to come out i'm going to leave it here because i was looking at the page of swords whatever this you, you don't know if this is investigation or whatever this is that you've seen it, you, there's a there's a feeling of just closing something out and wanting something new here okay you have the sun underneath here as well leo energy so there's a sense of um knowing that whatever this is is not making you happy let me see this knight of pentacles because that is your challenge what is this knight of pentacles here for taurus the six of pentacles so there it's also 
there can be an opportunity. You know, some some of you guys could be in this energy of wanting to create something, wanting to move in your own, you know, your own way, whatever that is. Maybe some of you guys might want to, or maybe thinking about starting up your own thing, right? Uh, for others of you, maybe there was this opportunity you've been waiting for. And again, whatever I say in a reading stays. But, you know, with that Knight of Pentacles, it's like you've been waiting for something to come towards you, waiting for some sort of breakthrough and whatever it is here. And with that Six of Pentacles, it's like it's like you're being offered an opportunity. So there is some sort of message or opportunity that is coming towards you. But it's also with this Ace of Swords being the outcome and the King of Pentacles being over here. It's also you making some sort of choice or decision that brings some sort of tower here. So again, you know, this is what the energy is feeling like. Um, you know, it's not one of those things where, you know, like someone's, you know, bragging on something here and trying to create a tower. I feel like there is already some sort of foundation that's just not right. And we saw the, I can't remember if we saw the Seven of Swords earlier, but, you know, it does feel a little bit, you know, that energy of um, seeing uh, something that, that isn't right with others though right you know something like that it's like doesn't it involve you too much but it does feel like you're, you're seeing something here i see the ace of cups underneath here so i do feel like whatever this opportunity is with that six of pentacles brings you some sort of new creative idea but you do have the ace of swords we have the ace of cups now so there is some sort of new opportunities and a lot of zodiacs have been getting um a lot of the aces lately um if you have leo in your chart they're getting like i think almost uh almost all the aces um so if you have that be sure to check out that video um but it does feel like there's there's some sort of change that is coming towards you here that is going to move you into something that kind of starts focused more on this ace of cups energy right so it feels like it's more focused on you and your success your happiness creative creativeness as well okay let's see the chariot here because it feels like i just want to throw a card there just to get some more information on that chariot cancer energy there yeah six of wands so two cards of victory here for you two cards of victory here for you taurus and let me see the six of cups what is this six of cups here the king of swords and with the three of pentacles so i mean maybe this is an opportunity that moves you towards someone else but i do feel like it's a card of reflection king of king of swords here is you know he's clear-minded right he's a leader he's in charge um, you know, he makes decisions here. You know, we know we always look at the emperor as being the boss too sometimes, but the king of swords is very clear-minded, making logical decisions here and start, start uh, you know, it's not looking at too much of the emotion behind something. So this energy is also looking at not only the past, looking at the future and being very, very, I don't know, I'm getting the word strict, you know, like being real with some, with something here. So whatever that is, is helping some, it's helping moving forward with the chariot and the six of wands here just confirms that there is some sort of success, victory, um, with ever, whatever this breakthrough is for you, Taurus. So again, it's a tarot reading general on YouTube and, uh, and I don't want people listening to this and going, you know, if I, if I leave something, I'm going to get this. Again, it, it depends on how this resonates for you, um, but, you know, it's just, it, it's interesting. Th this reading is very, very different from how I have, how have I have been picking up your energy before. So very new. All right. So three of pentacles, again, a card of um, building something else here. Again, maybe it's just a new job. Maybe it is just a new job, you know, moving, making that decision to put your resume out there and start searching for something else. And you leaving brings a tower to this uh, situation because they didn't see how valuable you are, you know, simply as that. Anything else here for Taurus? Anything else here for Taurus? The Hierophant, Taurus energy here. One more card. And then you have the Empress. So... I mean, you're in your power here. We hope, look at this justice at the bottom of the deck. So that communication, I don't know, man, that might be some sort of truth that needs to be known to people, or maybe someone has been keeping secrets, or maybe someone has been doing something here that isn't, uh, you know, just here. So it's like, they could be lying to other people, you know what I mean? And you know the truth, right? So it's like, it's that type of energy. And so it's like you 
letting letting it known hierophant energy here high priest you know something's off empress here you're in your power you're not i feel like maybe for some of you guys you're seeing another situation you feel like this is not right and you could be the one here that brings a tower that changes not only your life but their life as well so you're being called to do something here tor so i'm gonna leave it right there you let me know if this even resonates with anyone but that's what i got all right so yeah seven of swords right there so seven of swords it does there is some sort of sneaky energy or either around you here and it feels like you're figuring that out you're figuring someone or a situation here isn't right and and you're looking into it all right so i don't know you let me know taurus all right until next time we'll see you guys have a good one